Hey yo together and very welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2! Oh yeah, that's right. So, hey, <laughs> in the last mission we took quite some damage. I think no casualties, but still damage. Now my will is reduced if I'm not mistaken, which is really bad. And, yeah, the aliens, Advent. They are, they are, they are putting on a very, very good fight on us, so... And I still need some guys. I still need to get Bunsley in our team, Bravid, David Bravid, uh, Chad Richardson. I didn't forget about you. I need to to get a character for you first, and then of course Mix 0101 still. Um, will take some time at least, but good for us. This game takes a longer time, so we should see every one of you uh, in this. In this walkthrough, at least, at least once, at least for one mission. Okay, guys, come on, please, let's do this. I don't know exactly how it's looking currently with our researchers and weapons and armor, but. I should check that first, I guess. As soon as the loading screen is over, holy wow, so much to load. And no, my computer is not uh, bad normally. So this should be a gaming issue here. I think. Come on. Okay, that's good. Come on, come on, come on, please. Sometimes it takes a very long time and I don't know why. Um, so you might just skip through the video until the loading screen is done. I can't do much here. I could start in the future I could start in the in the game already, but I think the loading screen is worth it. Uh, not the loading screen, the uh, login screen, the starting screen. Okay, let's see. Let's expand. Uh, we get the Advent Officer Autopsy in one day. That's good. Uh, we will clear those alien machinery. Very nice. We get the AVC done in five days. Awesome. Awesome. And a supply drop in six days, which we... Oh yeah, we need that. Ah, quite some income. That's good. We have some alloy, some illyrium, some intel left. I need more power. And the alien cipher is there. No radio relays. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Ah, I see. Yes, of course. Almost done. Yeah, let's do this. Ugh. And then maybe the resistance radio. I've seen members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. <laughs> if I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. Mm, yeah, well, happens. Oh, what's that? <gasps> An engineer! What? Commander! Uh, okay, engineer. Very important. I think, I guess. I'm not sure. Do we just need to scan? Nice! Uh oh. I take it this was. Easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. Okay. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. Yes, of course. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. Uh... They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Uh -huh. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Okay, good. Network? Yes, 
What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. Okay. My theory, Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have wow. an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live admin officer. Oh, wow. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Okay, so we need. Oh god. Oh god, no. New objective added. Construct proving ground. PGF. Uh, Skullcheck project. Use the Skullcheck at okay. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our the people are standing city. by for your orders. The Advent Captain oh, seems to provide a means of stabilizing the link between the local subordinates and the Advent Network Tower itself. Okay, so we can research a lot of stuff. I, I, I wanted to go with the with the uh, uh, here the turrets, the sensor turrets or how it's called, the, the radio station network, whatever. But I think uh, I might just go with the Advent Mac breakdown. But I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's read first. I'm physically larger and more tactically capable than the subordinate troopers. The Advent officers administer a system of control over the troopers through a carefully engineered sonic link augmented with a mechanical implant. Okay. From my initial examination of the commando and a careful review of the information gathered in the alien containment area, I now have a theory as to how the system was established. It is my firm belief that this process of psionic control was specifically engineered to allow rapid deployment of tactical information drawn directly from the subconscious mind, in this case the mind of our very own commander. Uh, with this hierarchy in place, tactical knowledge stored in the depth of the commander's mind was processed and transmitted to the Advent's officer, officers, who in turn directed the troopers and other subordinates. With the commander no longer attached to the psionic network, it is difficult to say how the orders are being dispersed at this point. Although I'm sure the aliens have planned for this potential contingency. I believe it may be possible to tap into this network, but it would require the use of a living Advent officer to function as our conduit. Okay. To facili facilitate this difficult task, we've worked to develop a new device, the Skullcheck, which should be capable of disabling an officer. From there, it's simply a matter of hacking the officer in the field, although I won't speculate as to the outcome. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack that Tygen came up with, mm -hmm. we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. Stun Lancer would also be good. Okay, let's see. I can't do Illyrium. Um, mutant Autopsy. Ooh, six days. Five days. Uh, I think the Mutant is very important. Oh, Stun Lancer! Instant! The okay. Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Okay. So let's see, what do we have here? Although Advent clearly intended for these units to Arc be their blade. means of dealing with oh, any that's unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. Yeah. On both the physical and genetic level, the Advent Sun Lancers are nearly identical to the troopers or forces regularly in combat. However, a minor yet crucial adjustment to the muscle fiber density of the Lancer improves both agility and overall survivability. Equipped with non-lethal weapons capable of easily disabling human targets, these lenses were first deployed during the earliest days following Advent's establishment of the city centers, when civil unrest was a more common problem than outright resistance. In studying their usage and deployment, this raised an interesting question. If the lenses were among the first Advent 
boss is deployed and their survivability is somewhat higher than that of the standard trooper, did the aliens consciously reduce the trooper's strength based on the assessment of human combat readiness? This would imply a system of rapid genetic modification beyond what I had previously imagined the aliens were capable of. It would also demonstrate the degree of genetic fragility. I don't know that word, guys, sorry. Uh, that would have previously assumed was irrelevant to the aliens, based on the variety of unusual experiments they've conducted. Arcblade. When pure kinetic energy is no longer sufficient in the field, the Arcblade may prove necessary. It boosts the standard source combat effectiveness with the addition of an electric field. Stunning that are not killed. Okay. So alien encryption is still good, I think. But I go with the mutant autopsy now. Oh wait! No, the advent troop autopsy. No, no, no. I can do this anytime. Let's do the mutant. Central first. Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. Uh -huh. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse. And I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Yes. Great. Awesome. Blech. So I think the mutant offers us great new weapons. Um, Crawford and Colonel Connor. Big nasty. Mm -hmm. So many wounded soldiers! Damn it! I. <laughs> wow, that's not good! Okay. I need to recruit some more guys. Let's just get one here. Uh, whatever, man. I, I don't really care. I don't really Before care. Before he made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the resistance. Okay, so I'm gonna scan now two days to get this engineer and then we fly back. Or I get those rookies. That would be very important as well. Let's see if I can get, please, please, no advent stuff now. Nice! Okay, okay. Uh, some supplies, not now. While supplies are really important, I need Avenger more rookies. New I need more guys here. This is so bad. Maximum okay, let's... power consumption reached. Yes, 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 yes. I can't excavate. Engineer required. Um. I should have engineers. Hello. Yeah, I do have engineers. Maximum power consumption. Okay, reached. I don't know why I can't. Huh. Promotion. It's not looking good here for me currently. But maybe I don't know. Come on, give Advanced me the rookies. Center now operational. There's currently an unstaffed engineer in the open slot. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Healing rate. That's good. Uh oh, there's a UFO. Okay. Um, supply. Avenger plotting new course. This is so risky. Wow! Okay. Okay. Uh, let's check what we got here. Uh oh, okay. Hoo, 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 hoo. I definitely should get some. What, what, what can I do here? Retrain soldier abilities. No, that's not what I need currently. What I would need is here get a class done. So let's get this guy to go and get a sniper. I, wait, wait, I need... Do I really need another sniper currently? Um, 
another Grenadier would be nice, so we could get Bunslayer in our team. Let's go for that first. Okay. Locked. Alien debris. Why? Why can't I excavate? I would like to excavate. Ah! I'm so stupid! Okay. Okay. God, am I bad at this game. Okay. Now I got... Okay. Me stupid, guys. Me super stupid. So let's continue with the scanning. Incoming message for you, Commander. Uh, Patching no. it through to your quarters now. You have made ah, okay. considerable progress against the aliens over the yeah, past thank you. month, Commander. I Who's hope that? that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Yes. Okay. Hidden event reveal. I could reveal that. Wow, that's not good. But okay, I, I got it for now. Uh, higher level mega health. Let's see. On each mission for a month. Wow! Oh, wow. Okay, this is good to know. This is really good to know. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, not now. Let's do this first. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. The yes. aliens make a strong statement. Plasma grenade. These massive creatures as their Advanced grenade launcher. Nice. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. Yeah. Having never seen any of the previous mutant variants personally, I can only go by the soldier, uh, by the stories I've heard from Central Officer Bradford and others. As they say, the current breed is apparently on the smaller side, although considerably more agile than the originals. Internally, the subject maintains all the hallmarks of the extensive genetic modification, with additional muscul mu musculature and bone protecting the internal organs from any risk of direct contact. The alien clearly spent a great deal of time and effort honing the abilities of the mutant as a frontline combat soldier. I had heard that our soldiers believed the mutants to be part of a tribal society, at least originally based on their unusual battle cries and markings seen in the field. Having finally gotten a closer look, I can confirm the presence of unusual sacrification that could certainly be attributed to ritualistic behavior of some kind. Advanced grenade launcher! Further than... Nice! Ancrens larger factory is nice! Plasma grenade! Okay, this is so good! Designed to scrap the potential composition entirely in its place here. Zero to human based. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now uh, let's go with the alien. No. Resistance radio. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. Uh, a few I'll soldiers. When I have a full report available. Now we have some guys available. That's good. But, um, engineering. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Build items. Weapons. Mech cannon, shark gun. This is what I need. I need more supplies here. To get the grenade launcher. I think that's really important. And item wise, smoke grenade, medkit, flashbang, armor wise, uh, light armor underlaid. No, that's not what I need. I wonder if okay. this is what it was like in the old days. Always um, on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Yes. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Definitely. But I will cut this episode here now and continue later on. Um, yes. With more base stuff uh, management. So see you in the next video. As always, thank you very much for watching. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.
Thank you.